Here I'm going to show you how to remove or replace the evil hidden space character char160. This is also known as the non-breaking space character, but it is the evil space because it looks like a regular space, it behaves like a regular space, everything when we look at it is like a regular space until we go to clean or alter these cells and then we find out it's not a regular space. And here I'll show you three ways to deal with it, removing it or replacing it. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. So let's take a look at the first example right here. And notice these are my example cells. And here I have a count of how much text is in them, how many characters. And over here, once we deal with them, that's how many characters are left in the cell. So you can see we only have a couple different ways that will actually work. So let's take a look at the first example right here. It looks like we have a regular space in there, right? Double click it. And it is char160. So I've used a function to put this in here. In the next examples, it won't be a function, which will make it much more difficult to detect. But here I've hard coded it just so we can see it's regular text right here, no space, regular text right here, no space, but char160 as the evil space character. Now, why is this evil? Well, let's take a look. So here I have the len function, which says there are eight characters in this cell. So it counted the space, that's good. Evil is four, I am is three, and the space is one, so that's eight characters. Now, I have a couple examples over here of things that could remove the space. The trim's not going to work for a single space in between the text, but if you have it at the end of the text, then it should remove that space or any doubled up spaces. So trim wouldn't work in this example anyway, but I've included it. So if we trim that cell, it's not going to remove anything. And here I have a len to say there are only eight characters. If we use a regular substitute, where I am pointing this right here to this cell and saying, hey, I want you to replace the space with nothing, it's not gonna work. You can see I am evil, still have a space, still eight characters. So how about this one? Substitute directly char160. This is what you have to do. How much of a pain is that? Char160 is the non-breaking space character. It is the evil hidden space character that will find its way into your worksheets when you copy paste data from the internet especially. And this right here is how you deal with it in a formula. So if that's all you want, then you're good to go. I'm gonna show you one example here where char160 is more hidden and then an example of doing it with find and replace after that. But this is it right here, char160. And char160 is a function by the way. So if I input equals char 160 right here and tab over. Now let's see how many characters are in that cell. We get one character in this cell because char 160 is the space character. So the char function is kind of a crazy little function that makes it so you can represent characters that you maybe otherwise couldn't represent. All right, so let's go to the next one. I'm more evil. Now, why is this more evil? Let me delete this guy and show you why. So here you see that there's a function in it. Okay, that's great. When I double click it, I know what's going on. But how it's going to be is like this, where I copy it. I'm gonna go here and Alt E S V enter. That's paste special values. Now when I double click the cell, nothing. It just looks like a regular space, but it is not. It is an evil space. So len here, eight. Trim, as I mentioned, it's not going to do anything here unless you have a space at the end. So you can test trim with that. Substitute though, I'm evil. Substitute space for no space. Still eight characters with the len function. So not happening. You still have to do char 160. The problem, well the real problem is when you look at this, you can't tell that it's the non-breaking space character because to us humans, a space is a space but not here. So this shows you that the char160 can and will usually be quite hidden, but we use the same method to clean it out. Now let's go down here and do the find replace. So still here we have char160 right in there, and I will delete it just to make sure, and we'll start from our template up here, control C, alt E, S, V, enter. And now we wanna use find and replace. So we can do control H, to get to this window, 
I never remember that keyboard shortcut myself though. So I usually do control F, which takes you to the find tab and then just go to the replace tab. But now we have to find the non-breaking space character, char 160. How do we do that? Well, if you have a regular big keyboard, not a laptop keyboard, you can apparently hold the alt key and type 160. And that will put in the char 160 non-breaking space character right here for you. A lot of us don't have that numpad on our computer, so how do we do this here? Well, let's go back here and I'm going to show you an easy way. There are a couple different ways. I like this one. I showed you that char 160 is how you represent the character, right? So we put it in there equals char 160. And now all we do is control C, Alt E S V, enter. Now we have copy, paste, special values. And if that shortcut was a little fast for you, just control C and then you can right click and go to paste special and somewhere down here is values. Yeah, right there, values. All right, so once you have that in there, just double click and you'll see we have a little space in there. So highlight it, control C, escape. Now let's select the cell, control H. All right, go up here, remove anything that may be in there, then control V. We have now input the evil space character right in there. What do we want to replace him with? A regular space. So let's just delete it and input one regular space. Then hit replace. Close it. This still looks the same. But now our substitute function over here that just substitutes the regular space for nothing finally works. My recommendation, if you are going to import a lot of data all at once, or even if it's not that much, you just want to be on the safe side, I would go ahead and do a find replace with the char 160 like I showed you right here, just to make sure that everything is a regular space. That way, you can continue to use your regular substitute formulas over here. Because I have yet to find a good reason to maintain your non-breaking space characters within your worksheet in Excel. So I think you should be pretty safe to happily just clean them out, rip it out of your worksheet, and put some regular spaces in its place. And for the trim function that I've got up here, like I said, if you want to see this guy in action, just put your char 160 at the end. So if you took this and you go here and you copy this guy here, go to the end, paste him in, and the trim should remove that, right? So if I had an extra space at the very, very end, a regular space. Let's see how confusing we can make this. Then trim would remove the regular space. You can see 10 here and 9 here. But I'm going to go ahead and remove this extra stuff. We don't need to test this right here. And one thing I want to leave you with is there is a very, very interesting function for figuring out that this evil character is char 160. So let's say that you've got this guy here, okay? And you're running your substitute function and you're saying, why is this eight? It shouldn't be eight, it should be less than eight. It should be like this right here. So you know there's a problem with the space, right? So what you can do, double click here, go like this, copy it, escape, go down here, paste that in. Now let's go over here and we're going to use equals code. This is a great little function that when I click this and hit enter, it's going to tell me what character it is. Character 160. So now you know that you have to deal with character 160 right there. You have to use that in your substitute function, or you have to use that in your find and replace function. That's the character you have to use. What would a regular space be? Let's check it out. So if I delete this, and hit space, it's 32. So that is the regular space. Anytime you think life is going to be easy in Excel, there is always some way that it can eat up hours and hours of your day. 
So please be careful when you get these evil, evil characters. Add char 160 to the Rolodex of annoying things that you must remember when you import data into Excel or you have to clean any data. I know that it is horrible to have to remember this, but it will save you hours. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.